Today's niche guard enacts social, cultural, and political circumstances far different from the historical avant-garde which would not be imaginable without the philosophies of the Enlightenment which invented art, something that could be thought of in its own terms, framed and detachable from other kinds of processes and things. What can be framed and detached can be evaluated and sold, more art for the market's sake than art for art's sake. Today what is frameable and detachable are not only things, objet d'art, you know, paintings, great paintings, uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci's paintings or Picasso's paintings or what have you. What uh, are, are framed and sold today are behaviors. We can uh, frame and sell behaviors. A kind of uh, authorized prostitution on a global scale. Uh, uh, a pretty good business, I would say. This framing of behavior is what drives the spate of re-performances, that is, performing again things that have been performed before, such as Alan Caprow's Six Happenings in Eighteen Parts, which was done in 2009, uh, and uh, 2007 rather, and uh, right now Brian De Palma's film of the performance group's Dionysus in 69, which I directed, but which was done in Texas and will be done in New York this coming fall. Or the Museum of Modern Arts 2010, The Artist is Present, the museumification of some of Marina Abramovich's most famous performance art pieces, along with her weeks-long enthronement on a chair at the center of MoMA's large ground floor atrium, where people, after waiting in line for hours, sat opposite her, their eyes fixed on a being somewhere between Queen Elizabeth and Our Lady of Lourdes. The Caprow, the performance art, and the uh, uh, performance group in the Abramovich, and many other recent redoings, are fundamentally different from, say, a restaging of Wagner's Ring Cycle or uh, at the Met, where what is prized is a new vision of an old score or old text, or one of the many productions of Shakespeare. What is asked of the Caprow, the Abramovich, and such, are events as close as possible to the so-called originals, as if performances were not ephemeral, but the Mona Lisa or the Demoiselle d'Avignon, things available for experiencing in their pristinity again. So this is also comes out of our affinity to the internet, to replication, to our uh, knowledge, which we have even if we can't consciously articulate it, that all that is in the internet is just ones and zeros arranged in whatever uh, algorithm needs these two integers to be arranged in.